who is Dwight, 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 Dwight Jones? I hear the name Dwight Jones or Dwight Jones. It's an elder, older man, Dwight Jones. I see a man, Dwight Jones. You know somebody? Come, 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 come. Lord is showing me somebody, Dwight. I don't know if I'm calling it right, but I see a name, Dwight Jones. Dwight Jones. Uh, Dwight Jones. Amen. I see, I see that name. Who is Dwight Jones? So it's, a, it's an older man. It's like, an, oh, it's your dad. Your dad is Dwight Jones. Where is he? You don't know. Do you know he's praying for you? You don't believe that, huh? You got a rocky relationship, but he's praying for you. I just heard his spirit. Is he a handyman or carpenter? Is he into carpentry or something? What does he do? I see him doing a lot of things with his hand. He's praying for you. I want you to believe I don't speak if the Lord is not telling me to speak. And as I'm looking at you, I see somebody who's yearning for love. I see somebody who's yearning for true love and acceptance. You made a lot of mistakes in your life so many things happened that you it affected your relationship even with your family I see another person I want you to believe what I'm saying right now because God has a purpose for you he has a purpose for you young lady I don't know who you are I just barely met you during now we barely even talked but uh, there's so many people wishing goodness and things to change. Do you know that God loves you? Do you know that he loves you? You don't know and you probably don't believe that. And I'm going to tell you something that's going to shock you. In 2014 or 2015, you had an accident, did you? saw like a crack on the leg. I don't know which leg, but there's a the left leg. I saw a crack. I saw a crack. <sighs> oh, that's the sky, right? I'm not sure exactly, but it's it's been some years. When exactly did that happen? 2015. 2015. This service is for you today. He ordered your steps today. You struggled, but you pushed through. You struggled, but you pushed through. You see, I'm going to go anyway. The spirit of the Lord was pushing you to come today. Your father is praying for you and God loves you. That's why he saved you from that wreck. He said, child, come to me. You feel alone. And so you're trying to grab anything. No. You are beautiful on the inside. You're beautiful on the inside. I want you to believe what I'm telling you because I don't just speak. I speak by the unctions of God. God has delivered a lot of people here from bondage, cancer, in this place. I 
It's supernatural. It's not by my doing. As I'm talking to you now, I see another young man called Hernandez. Who's Hernandez? I see a man, Hernandez. And Hernandez is like somebody who is either a friend or somebody. I see Hernandez. Your daughter's father is called Hernandez. Hernandez. Things have been rough with you, lady. It's been rough. You are a miracle. You are a miracle. Hernandez. As a matter of fact, Hernandez Nelson. Nelson. Is it, what is his name? Nelson Hernandez. Nelson Hernandez. Nelson is what I'm seeing. You had a rocky time and God is saying to me, enough of the running. Come back home. He's saying, come back home to me. Stop trying to attach yourself for things because you're going to keep failing until you seek him first. Give it all to him. You are beautiful on the inside. I don't care what anybody has told you, has said to you that got you out of the way that you don't care about your life or anything. You just want to do you. But God said, I have a purpose for your life. There is a reason why I created you. That's why things seems not to be working because it's like the more you try, the more something happens. And then it hurts so bad. He said, you are like Jonah. I am sending you out on assignment and you are running away. I'm going to keep cutting off things. But I kept you for a reason. I see July or June, July or something like that. When is he born? Hernandez. July 1st. <laughs> July 1st. The Lord said you, it's time for you to be separated and be connected totally with God. Yes. Then I will fulfill your purpose. But I saved you for a reason. Please women stretch your hand towards her. There's an emptiness of a mother. There's an emptiness of a father in her. And she's wondering who else can I run to? Who else can I talk to? She's been used and abused. But she's yearning. She's yearning. Let's cover her with the love of God. God says that he loves her. In spite of her mistakes. In spite of her past. In spite of anything that has happened in her life. Father do a new thing today. You told me you said that the service is for her. The service is for her. We thank you for restoration. We thank you for your spirit of grace. Thank you. Father, by this time next year, she'll be given a different testimony. Yeah. Cause her spirit to be sold out to you. She yearns to know you, but she has doubts and fear. You need to be surrounded by good people, positive people. They will help you to grow. As these mothers and these women have surrounded you, so shall the love of Christ hold you and uphold you and direct you on every decision you're going to be making. I thank you for your grace that in this place. Take all the glory, Lord. We open up our spirit and we break every generational curses that is following her in the name of Jesus. From today, she's set free from every bondage in the name of Jesus. I thank you because this is your child. This is your daughter. You are set free from today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come on, put your hands together.
Put your hands together. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is well with you. Go back to your seat. 